Earth's magnetic North Pole is moving faster than ever and it's leaving scientists baffled. We have geologic evidence of a pole shift 84 million years ago. We even have ancient Greek texts recording that the sun would rise in the west setting in the east. But look at this, the true polar wonder. New poles relative to the planet. Look at the North Pole and look at the location of Alaska and uh, South America. And you can imagine what type of weather changes this would bring onto the Earth. Now, a new report confirms that the Earth's magnetic field is also weakening which could collapse the field entirely and flip polarity if it continues. Earth's magnetic north pole is moving at unprecedented speeds and scientists are still unsure why this is happening. And what makes these recent changes so interesting is the sheer speed at which they're occurring. Some fear that the rapid movement of the magnetic north pole could cause problems for global positioning systems of GPS, military op operations, airliners, other navigation systems, ships, for, for example, relying on pinpointing where precisely the pole is located. Migratory animals such as birds, butterflies, and whales also use the magnetic field for directions. The latest report from NOAA, the uh, World Magnetic Model for 2020, shows the pole rapidly speeding in the direction of Siberia. However, the trajectory of the pole will likely change. This is not the first time that this has happened. Polar wandering has been constant since the North Pole was first discovered, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA for short. NOAA's National Centers for Environmental Information explain, since its first formal discovery in 1831, the North Magnetic Pole has traveled around 1,400 miles, or 2,250 kilometers. This wandering wandering has been generally quite slow, allowing scientists to keep track of this position fairly easily. And as recently as last, uh, as uh, 2000, the magnetic North Pole was clocked at moving a whopping 6.2 miles a year towards northern Russia. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. But it's no longer at that speed. The uh, two decades ago show that the average rate suddenly increased to about 34 miles per year in the same direction. So instead of 6.2 miles, it's now 34 miles a year, while the latest readings in 2019 show it's slightly decreased to about 31 miles a year. The World Magnetic Model predicts the average speed will slow down to roughly 25 miles per year from 2020 to 2025, so we'll, we'll see what happens. The WMM220 forecasts that the northern magnetic pole will continue drifting towards Russia, although at a slowly decreasing speed down to about 40 kilometers per year compared to the average speed of 55 kilometers over the past 20 years. For the first time in recorded history, the pole has even passed by the Greenwich Meridian, the imaginary line used to indicate zero degrees longitude and determine time zones. Geomagnetic specialist Kirian Began from the British Geological Survey, BGS, told Financial Times, the movement since the 1990s is much faster than any time for at least four centuries. We really don't know much about the changes in the core that's driving this. The new model also confirms that Earth's magnetic field is weakening. If this continues, scientists say the field could collapse entirely and flip polarity, changing magnetic north to south and vice versa, and the consequences could be dire for the planet. But before we begin to panic, we should remember that the Earth's magnetic poles have already flipped about 100 times in the past 20 million years. The last reversal occurred roughly 773,000 years ago. Earlier this year, the rapid movement of the North Pole garnered headlines when scientists revealed that the North was moving so fast that they had to update their model of the planet's magnetic field 
much earlier than expected. And it was reported the drift is a result of processes deep in the center of the planet where the liquid outer core, comprised of iron and nickel, spins and flows like water, serving as a conductor for Earth's magnetic field. The recent change in the flow of the fluid is believed to be similar to the formation of a jet stream in the atmosphere, leading to changes in the planet's magnetic field. These changes are all part and parcel of the natural behavior of the Earth and have not been caused by human activity. Rock samples reveal that the Earth's magnetic field has been in perpetual motion for millions of years. The University of Wisconsin at Madison, geologist and NOAA study author Brad Singer said that while the shifts in the pole could in the long term lead to impacts on satellites, communication navigation, researchers will likely have generations to deal with any major instability in the magnetic field. The decrease in geomagnetic field is much more important and dramatic than reversal, said Dr. Nicholas Thuveni from the European Center for Research and Teaching of Environmental Geosciences in France. It's very important, he said, to understand if the present field will decay to zero in the next century because we will have to prepare. This is by Elias Marat on the Mayans Unleashed. Uh, Creative Commons, please leave your comment and thank you for your support.